let's talk about the best carbohydrate that can actually help you lower your cholesterol. Now, in some cases, cholesterol is not a problem if it's a little bit higher, especially when you're starting the ketogenic diet because you're mobilizing a lot of cholesterol from the fat cell. But let's say, for example, your LDL, especially the one that is um, pathogenic, the small, dense lipoprotein is too high, or you just have very high levels of cholesterol and you want to lower it naturally, what do you do? There's one specific food that can help you, but I want to give you just a tiny bit of background before I reveal that food. The first thing to know is that your body makes cholesterol. In fact, it makes way more cholesterol than the cholesterol that you consume. Number two, the primary mode of elimination of excess cholesterol happens through your bile ducts with the help of bile salts. Bile salts are like detergents. They help you break down fats. They help lubricate the colon. So if you don't have enough bile, uh, you can get constipated. And just being constipated can back up the flow of this excess cholesterol. Your liver makes bile. It's stored in the gallbladder. And bile can help to bind to cholesterol and then help move it out of the body. And it also gets rid of toxins as well. And there's two types of bile. You have primary and you have secondary. Primary bile is made by your liver. Secondary bile is made by the friendly bacteria in your large intestine. And they're both in communication very closely in their regulation. So for example, if you don't make as much in your colon, then the liver is going to make a little bit more. If you don't make as much in your liver, the colon should make a little bit more. They both are in communication. Then the next question is, what carbohydrate can help you reduce your cholesterol because typically carbohydrates will increase your cholesterol. Like sugar, for example, you'll end up with high, uh, not just cholesterol, but high LDL, high triglycerides. But there are three types of carbohydrates, sugars, starches, and fiber. Fiber is a carbohydrate. And fiber is the food that can help reduce your cholesterol. Now, I'm not talking about the fiber in wheat bran or oat bran or psyllium seed or the pectin in apples. Those fibers actually produce a very small, almost insignificant effect on cholesterol. I'm talking about the fiber in vegetables, okay? Those things that you probably need to eat more of. Now, I recommend consuming a good amount of vegetables in addition to uh, a moderate amount of animal protein on the ketogenic plan. In fact, I recommend if you're eating salad to have anywhere between like seven to even 10 cups. It might sound difficult, but it's not really too difficult if you just have one salad for lunch and one at dinner. The thing about the fiber in vegetables is that vegetables have the lowest amount of sugar and they have the highest amount of fiber as well as phytonutrients and vitamins and minerals. Fiber in general does help bind with cholesterol. It does also help modify the absorption of lipids and fats, but fiber also increases the production of bile. So you have this pool of bile salts in your body. Fiber increases that pool as well as getting rid of the bile that's connected to the cholesterol. It helps you get rid of that through the bowels. And so the carbohydrate fiber has zero effect on your blood sugars, zero effect on insulin. And that alone will help lower your cholesterol. And the other thing that's very interesting about fiber is that it is the food for your microbes. And when you feed the microbes this fiber, it lowers the production of cholesterol. Interesting. Not to mention it lowers insulin. It helps if you have insulin resistance and it can help lower your blood sugars. So in summary, if you have high cholesterol, you should be consuming more vegetables to increase the release of bile, to feed the microbes, and of course, at the same time, make sure you're not consuming any sugars or starches. Now, if you have not seen this very important video on LDL, okay, the so-called bad cholesterol, there's a lot more to learn about that, and I put that video up right here. Check it out.